Hello and good afternoon everyone, I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Watzel with a look at your afternoon a video update for Wednesday, February 2nd. Well, we had a surge of Arctic cold and bouts of moderate and even briefly heavy snow come into portions of the state during the night and continue this morning. For the most part, snow showers have been ending this afternoon and will continue to do so west to east through the overnight as our cold Arctic storm system continues to slowly work its way east towards the central and southern. Southern Plains. In its wake, bitterly cold overnight temperatures, and that's going to include some very cold wind chills despite light and variable winds. Once air temps get at or below zero, doesn't take much wind at all to add another element to the bitter cold in those wind chills, which could be teens and even 20s below into Thursday morning. The warm up will start tomorrow, but as we mentioned before, it is going to be a slower process, but then by Friday and through the weekend, we are looking milder in general as a Pacific Ridge pattern builds in from the west. That does also mean, though, windy periods are going to return and could start Friday night into Saturday morning as a fast-moving clipper rides the crest of that ridge. Friday night and into the day on Saturday. This video will focus on short-term conditions tonight and Thursday. And as we head into the night, going to dry out over the western and central portion of the state with cold temps settling in. Again, most areas will fall at or below zero. Some places that got light snowfall or basically none at all will stay just above zero with light winds in general. For the eastern third of the state, mostly along and east of I-25 or so, still going to have a few leftover scattered snow showers this evening. Accumulations will be very minimal, if anything at all. One thing it will do, though, is reinforce the slick road conditions that have been in place throughout the day today, and the temperatures, once again, will be awfully chilly with light winds heading into Thursday. Then for Thursday, mainly dry and cold statewide with general light to breezy winds. Some local spots, though, may see some areas of blowing snow when you combine the recent snowfall, which has been fluffy, and also some breezes of about 15 to 25 miles an hour. That could cause some blowing snow on the open roadways, so slick spots will remain possible throughout the day, and that's going to lead to our travel impact graphic. Not too bad over the uh, western two-thirds of the state. Still some morning scattered slick spots with general improving road conditions despite chilly temps in the afternoon and overnight. More moderate road impacts along sections of I-90. Southern I-80 and along I-25 with those slick roads and black ice, but should start to improve as temps will remain cold, but road temperatures will start to warm up with a little more sunshine, and that could break the ice up a little bit into Thursday night and Friday with more warmth coming in Friday into the weekend. Thanks for listening and watching, everyone. Have a great rest of your Wednesday, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow.